So in 28 days, I'm going to be driving this uh, 1989 Lincoln Town Car that I recently acquired. Well, not recently, but uh, I'm going to drive it all the way to uh, Chadron, Nebraska. That's uh, almost a thousand miles one way from uh, here in Missouri. But uh, I've finally gotten everything pretty much situated on it. And uh, the only thing I'm going to have to do before I leave is replace this front driver's side caliper. I've already replaced the passenger side one. But uh, I'm going to drive this thing up there. And uh, we're going to do a whole YouTube video about it, driving it up there. That's the mileage now. I'm getting an average about 15 miles to the gallon. I got a, I still got to load a bunch of stuff in here, of course. But that won't be for, you know, like 27 days or whatever. But, uh, went ahead and put uh, two snow tires here in the back. Uh, the tailpipe I got to weld on it. Got jumper cables. I got a, I got a toolbox I'm going to bring in some tools and jack and whatnot. But the two snow tires, just in case it does snow, these are actually for the Ranger, believe it or not. <laughs> and they actually fit on this car. I'll have to put them on the back. I can't run them on the front because they rub or would rub. I got four shocks coming for this as well. Um, because I need it needs four shocks all the way around, of course. Because uh, otherwise, I'm not gonna. It's not gonna work too well. Uh, and it drives kind of bad with the, with the bad shocks. It has a lot of body roll to it. Of course, it's a big car. What I'm gonna do? I bought a, a pump up sprayer. It's not in the box. It's in the house. I'm gonna take a pump up sprayer and put diesel and uh, oil mix in it, and I'm spray the undercarriage. Try to keep the rust down on her, because uh, when I drove that Taurus up there two years ago, it got really rusty underneath, like on the subframe. Got extra belt I bought for it too. It will be coming from Rock Auto. Same with the uh, shocks. I got Monroe shocks. I was actually going to drive the '94 73 IDI, hence the fuel tank on the back. Uh, I decided not to drive it, decided to drive this, because, uh, well, quite frankly, I really don't want to sit on a bench seat for, uh, it's a 16-hour drive. Got a nice new bench seat in here. But I'd rather not drive this that far. I, I can trust this. I've only drove it, uh... Not really drove it that much, but I believe it'll make it. It's got four new tires. Uh, it's got new front brakes. It'll have that new caliper, of course, on the other side. It's already got a new one here and new front brakes and new front hoses. And then it'll have the four shocks, and then I'll bring a few extra uh, bits and bobs. It's also got a new alternator. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> but anyway. Well, that's that, I guess. So we're going to be driving that. I hope it makes it. But we'll do a whole YouTube video about it from starting here all the way up there. Uh, I'm going to try to do a time lapse. And uh, I'll have two phones so I can stop in between and shoot a little bit and explain, you know, what's going on, how good it's going. But that'll be uploaded whenever I get back. Anyway, thanks for watching.